This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is a dark night sky, and this is the photo we're taking in this video. They say it's two times better in the dark. Two times better than what? I don't know. What I do know, it's bloody awesome. Let's check it out. In order to get this sort of photo, you're going to need a couple of things. The first and foremost, you're going to need the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the second thing that you're going to need, most of all, is a dark sky. Where I am here, it's a Bortle 1, actually it's Bortle 1 right here, so it's really dark. You're not going to get this sort of photo in the city, you're going to need to get out of the city into the dark night skies. There's some resources down below to find a dark sky near you. Second of all, you're going to need a tripod. It doesn't matter what sort of tripod it is. I'm using uh, Explorer 1 here. It doesn't matter what sort it is. There's some links in the description down below. What you need a tripod for, it's really important. When we first put on a tripod, you get 10 seconds. It's on a tripod, it gives you 30. All you need to do is just wait for a second. Once you've got it on the tripod, it will go automatically from 10 seconds to 30 seconds, just like all the other iPhones that have a night mode. All right, it's a good size moon tonight. It's probably about 40, 45% moon. So there's a lot of moon coverage at the moment. So in the camera mode here, uh, we're going to go to the little arrow. It'll bring all the menu down onto night mode there. It's on auto five seconds. I'll swipe it all the way. It knows it's on a tripod and I'm gonna put this tree into the center of the frame, just on the ground like that. I've got a lot of lights going on here for the video and from the vehicle and stuff, but we'll turn them off when we take the photo. So on 30 seconds, all you need to do now is push the shutter button and it's gonna take the photo. While we're waiting for that to finish, my name's Shane Moss and I do two videos each and every week all about small sensor photography, generally in low light. So you're going to learn all about astrophotography, long exposure photography, light painting photography, and all that sort of cool stuff, everything that's mobile photography. So if you're in that sort of thing, hit subscribe. If you have subscribed, you're a bloody legend. Let's have a look. Okay. It takes a pretty damn good photo. This is what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna compose this photo a little bit better. I'm going to shoot Pro Raw, we'll edit this photo as well, and just for shits and giggles, I'm going to put it on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and we'll see how they compare. The foreground on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is just mint. It's so much more colour than what the 14 is. I've done both of these the same way, and uh, you've got to agree the 15 Pro is better. Is it two times better? Two times, is it two times better? That's what they said it was going to be. I'll be interested to see what you guys think. I'll show you where these photos are in a second, because if you want to download these photos that I'm taking right now, I'll, uh, I'll put them on the website at shanemoston.com. You can download them and have a, a good hard look at them right there. All right, this is where the tripod is set up, and there's the tree over here. Just behind it here is my car, and what I'm going to do is put, uh, put this light sit it up there on top of the mirror and that's going to give this is an rgb light this is a uh, a small rig one it's good to have a diffuser on there as well um, the diffuser what it does is diffuses the light so it's not quite as harsh but these lights are really good for this sort of uh, uh, light painting because they're adjustable you can have just one percent on this so with that little bit of light on the tree um, constant for both photos Let's see how good they look. All right, I've got both of these phones here now, the 15 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max. And uh, I've got to tell you, um, they're, they're chalk and cheese. Um, you probably can't really tell it from there because of all the glary lights going on. They're both pretty good. Um, but look, I'll put them on the screen here for you. Have a look at the, uh, well, this is the 14 Pro first, 14 Pro Max first. Like that's, that's pretty good. Like you've got to, you've got to admit, that's a, that's a good photo for a phone. Um, there are better phones out there for this, 100%. But for an iPhone, this is really good. I think what adds to this photo is the moonlight, the clouds. Um, it's just, it's pretty cool. This though, <laughs> this is the 15 Pro Max. Nothing has been done differently here. I've just put them both on a tripod, both 30 seconds, didn't touch anything else just hit the shutter button and this is the image that it outputted that look at the the color that's in the tree in the grass because i know it's quite bright green it's it's, very, it's irrigated country it's it's quite good um the, the ground is nice and green i should say got a bit distracted there myself but 
looking at both of those, there's definitely more detail in the stars on the 15 Pro. Is it two times better? No, I don't think it is. I would argue that it's probably three times better. It's definitely better. Um, the, the jump from the 13 to the 14, I didn't think was that big of a deal. Uh, it was two and a half times better. This is two times better. It's absolutely better. Absolutely better. 100%. If you're into this sort of photography um, and, and you, you're thinking about upgrading your phone, when I first looked at the specs and I watched the, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the, the marketing thing that they did, uh, that Apple did, I honestly didn't think of it would be worth upgrading. I've changed my mind. 100%. This is so much better, in my opinion, than the 14 Pro Max. What I'm going to do now, I won't record it all for you. Um, it's just exactly the same as taking the regular photo that I just took then, but I'm going to shoot it in Pro Raw, and I'll put the, the, the unedited file onto shanemoston.com as well, and you can download it from there. Fair dinkum. That focusing right is. If you're, if you're a regular viewer on the channel, you haven't seen this one before, do you know what that's about? It's got a lot to do with this. Uh, I'll put a link down the bottom, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. While I'm waiting for that one, if you're on social media, go and check out Shane Moss and Bloody Legends Mobile Photography, or whatever it's called, link in the description down there. It's a great Facebook group, very, very good community there. Doesn't matter what phone you have, doesn't matter what your skill set is, it's a good, positive photography group, which these days is quite rare on the internet. Let's have a look at this photo. Oh, look, for, for an iPhone, that's... <laughs> Well, they're not going to make a camera that's worse than last year, are they? This is so much better than what I expected it to be. If you're sitting on the fence and you're waiting for my opinion on what this camera can do in low light, and I know a lot of you have been, I saw it in the comments there today. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, whether you go the Pro or the Pro Max, it's up to you with the size of it. Um, well, I'm going to shoot another video tomorrow to give you my thoughts on the phone in general but I know a lot of you guys wanted to see what the low light capabilities are. And I'll do some other stuff in low light, not just Astro stuff, but I know you, that's what I'm known for. All right, guys, that's it for today. <laughs> I'll catch you later.